Thanks for the opportunity to talk about the Internet of Things once more. The Internet of Things could be huge. By 2020, it could connect up to 50 billion devices, around seven for every man, woman and child alive today, including almost everything from industrial machines to cargo pallets, from your car to your spectacles, enabling objects to communicate not just with people, but with each other. But it's not just about the numbers and the devices. It is about what we could do differently with that many connections. Packages that decide where to be shipped, lights that decide when to switch off, alarm clocks that tell your coffee machine when to start brewing, of course, we will still use our own senses and value our own real-world interactions. There's no substitute for that. But smart connected objects acting more autonomously will relieve us from routine burdens and they will change our living and working environments. And they will create unprecedented market opportunities, both sensing their environment and communicating it. The objects around us can become tools to understand and respond to complex situations. And don't forget, this could actually help us tackle the big challenges facing humanity. Saving energy, ensuring food and water for all, or caring for an aging society. Consider the applications, for example, in long-term healthcare. Like automatically texting a family member or nurse if an elderly patient forgets to take their prescription or connecting up cars to alert emergency services more quickly when there is an accident, and using that information to update traffic reports too, cutting congestion. In fact, we can achieve a huge amount at the crossroads of areas like home appliances, home healthcare, energy and smart manufacturing. We could even build entire smart, smart cities. But there is a few things we need to do as policymakers. First, we should continue to support research and innovation. The Internet of Things has long been a big factor in research areas like smart ecosystems, components or robotics. Indeed, our current funding program includes a specific objective to directly support IoT research. And in future, under our proposed Horizon 2020 program, we should look at the cross-sector innovation potential of the IoT. Applying research results from the cognitive, nano and biosciences and integrating with other areas like the future internet, the cloud and smart cities. And second, we may need standards, particularly to stimulate a consistent borderless single market and ensure the protection and trust of end users. Creating a comprehensive IoT standards framework might seem difficult, but I hope standards organizations, public and private, can cooperate to develop interoperable standards for the IoT at European and international level. Plus, we need much work in many other areas. First, we need more cross-federating platforms, taking multiple perspectives like the IoT International Forum or indeed this very conference. Equally, we should provide reference architectures, frameworks and the right building blocks for data processing, security and privacy and service creation. In fact, why not have an app store for the Internet of Things? The IoT needs the right legal and ethical framework. Take, for example, issues like how to build trust or how to ensure interoperability and avoid locked in SIM cards. But that framework needs to enjoy broad support from all the stakeholders. After all, the Internet of Things is itself self-organizing. And in that spirit, we, in the European Commission, plan an initiative on governance of the Internet of Things to support dynamic development of IoT innovation, to boost growth and jobs within our digital single market, and to protect and ensure the confidence of EU citizens. Our shared objective, mine and yours, is to ensure the IoT helps our society evolve, boosting innovation, growth and quality of life. I hope this fourth IoT Europe conference will continue to drive the interna international debate initiated here many years ago. And I wish you a very fruitful discussion.